Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on odd numbers. Recognising odd numbers in everyday life is a very important skill and children need to understand all aspects of this topic. Consider the following number of oranges. Let's count them. One, two, three. How many are there? Three. That's easy to see. It is quite easy to work out whether three is an odd number. This is how we do it. An odd number of objects cannot be shared evenly between two people because there is always one left over. Let us use the above rule to determine whether three oranges represent an odd number. Can we share three oranges between two people so that nothing is left over? The answer is no. One person gets one orange, another person gets another orange, and there is one left over. So each person receives one orange, and there is one left over. Because there is one left over, three is odd. Consider the following number of apples. Can we share the five apples between two people so that nothing is left over? No. One person receives two apples. Another person receives two apples, so they're equal shares. But there's one left over. So each person receives two apples and there is one left over. That tells us that five is odd. Another important rule. All odd numbers cannot be divided into pairs of two because there is always one left over. Here's an example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven marbles. Look at how we cannot divide the above seven marbles into pairs of two. There's one pair, two pairs, three pairs. That gives you six altogether, but there's one left over. So there are three pairs of two and one left over. Because there is one left over, seven is odd. Here's another example. Give two reasons why nine is an odd number. Here's the solution. Let us represent 9 by the 9 buttons below. It is easy to see that there are 9 buttons here. Quite straightforward. Just count them. This is the first reason why 9 is odd. The above buttons cannot be divided into two equal groups because one is left over. OK, you can have a group of 4. You can have another group of 4. But that's only 8. There is one left over. Because there is one left over, 9 is odd. Here's the second reason. The 9 buttons cannot be divided into equal pairs of 2, because 1 is left over. 1 pair, 2 pairs, 3 pairs, 4 pairs. There are 4 pairs, but that only gives you 8, and there's 1 left over. So there are two reasons why 9 is odd, because in each case, you have one left over. So, in summary, odd numbers cannot be divided into two equal groups because there is always one left over. Also, odd numbers cannot be divided into pairs of two because one is always left over. Now, having said all that, here is a simple rule for recognising odd numbers. Odd numbers are easy to recognise if we remember the following. All odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. If a number ends in any one of these digits, it is odd. What a great rule. Let's look at these examples. All the following numbers are odd because they end in either 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Let's look at them quickly. 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 243, 355, 
567, 379, 1007, etc. You could go on forever. They're all odd numbers because they end in one of those digits. What a great rule that is for recognizing odd numbers.